In this video, we are going to be kind of taking a step back and just going through everything that we've already learned, summarizing that, putting that into a program to make sure that you guys really understand all of that. And we're also going to be talking about nested statements, so how you can kind of add things within other things like so if statements within other if statements variables and the way i'm going to do this is just by creating a simple program and what it's going to do is it's going to ask the user to input their age and then based on that age we're going to do certain things with that we're going to tell them like i don't know a good example is like on a roller coaster like if you're 13 or older you can ride otherwise you can't so we're going to do something like that okay so I'm going to keep these scanners up here that I have because we want to get the user's age. But I'm first, before I set up the scanner, is I'm just going to print a uh, line to the screen here. So I'm just going to say system.out.print instead of println. And in this case, I will just say input uh, your age simply, okay? So this way it should, uh, if I'm doing this correctly, make it so that uh, we just get the age right after this line. Okay, you'll, you'll see when we do that in a second. Anyways, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to kind of start typing and we'll go through uh, how this works after. So I'm going to say if, uh, and we're actually just going to convert this to an int first, I think, string to an int. Yeah, so using that parse int that I was talking about. So we'll say int of age is equal to s dot, or integer, uh, I always forget how to do this, integer dot parse int. And then in here, we need to type s. So we're going to convert whatever they type into an integer in this case. So we're going to assume that they type in an integer. So we'll say if age is greater than or equal to 13, then we will si simply print uh, system.out.println. You can ride. Okay. Exclamation point. Now, if they're not older than 13, that must mean that they are less than 13 or younger than 13. So in this case, we will simply print that they cannot ride system.out.println and you cannot write exclamation point. Okay, pretty basic program. Uh, we kind of gone through how all this works. So let's test it out. Input your age, five, you cannot ride. Okay, let's try this now. Input your age, do 43, you can ride. Awesome. Okay, so everything's working fine for right now. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to add a else if here and I'm going to change kind of the problem that we're looking at. So I'm going to say now I want to classify the person based on their age as either an adult, a teenager, or just like younger than a teenager. Okay, I don't know. What do you call those? Whatever younger than teenager is. Okay, so if we are greater than or equal to 18, I want to print you are an adult. Okay. Now, otherwise, so if they are not greater than 18, we want to check if they are less than 18. So, or if they're actually, well, we'll do it in a, in a cool way that's going to make sense here in a second. So, else if age is not greater than or equal to 18, we know it's less than 18. So, all we actually have to check is if they are older than 13, right? Or greater, or older than or equal to 13, because that's what a teenager would be, okay? And the reason we don't have to check if they are... Uh, what do you call it younger is or if they're older is because uh we already know that they're going to be younger than 18 so no we're they're within that range so i already butchered that explanation but that's okay so system dot out dot print ln and in this case we'll just say you are a teenager okay like that and then in this last case well we know they're not older than or equal to 18 we know they're not older than or equal to 13 that meaning they must be less than which is you are not a teenager or an adult okay like that so let's test our program out make sure everything is working so if we input an age of 14 we get you are a teenager awesome okay let's try it again if we input an age of 19 get you are an adult and if we input an age of zero we get you are not a teenager or an adult now i want to show you what happens if i input like a negative number like what if i do like negative 98 you are not a teenager or an adult because right we have this else statement and that's not greater than or equal to 13 it's not greater than or equal to 18 so we get you are not a teenager or an adult okay now that is pretty straightforward what i'm going to show you now is how we can ask like another question or how we can check something else so what i'm going to do here is i want to say if they're 18 and only if they're 18 i want to ask them a question now what should the question be i want to ask them what their favorite food is okay so i'm simply going to do now exactly what i've done up here 
except just throw it um, inside of this if statement. So if this happens, we're going to do this. And this is going to show you nesting, OK? So I'm going to say SC, or we'll say string. I guess we can just do int, because we're going to assume they're our string, I guess, because it's going to be food, yeah. We'll say string food is equal to SC dot next uh, line, like this, OK? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to print up here again what we're looking for. So I'll just copy this, save me a second. And in this case, I'll say input your fave food. OK, now what I want to do is I want to check uh, what their favorite food is. So I want to say if their favorite food is pizza, I'll say mine too. Otherwise, I'll say that's not my favorite food or something like that. OK, so we'll say if and we have our uh, condition in here, we'll say if food dot equals. And in this case, we'll simply type pizza, right? Then we will system dot out dot print LM. And we'll say mine. Wow, inside of the quotes, hopefully. Say mine too. And then otherwise, so the else, what we'll do is we'll simply type system dot out dot print LN. And in this case, we'll say not mine. Okay. So this is showing you now it looks a bit more complicated, but that we can actually put if statements and else statements and we can do things with inside of the if statement. And I'll show you that this works. So if I type uh, I'm 19, it's going to say input your fave food. Okay, my favorite food. Let's try pizza. It says mine too. Awesome. That's working. Now, if I type something else, so I type like four, it just tells me I'm not a teenager or an adult because we don't have anything else happening inside of this if statement or this else over here. Okay. Now that's really cool. And that allows us to do some neat things and you can continually nest. And this is called nesting, putting a statement inside of another statement. You can continually do that as much as you want. Uh, so I just wanted to show that to you because a lot of people think that that's not possible. Or they don't understand that you're able to do that because they haven't been shown that, right? So again, if I want to ask another question, I could do that inside of here and I could just keep going. But anyways, I think that that probably gives you guys a good um, explanation of how that works and shows you that I don't need to go any further. So with that being said, I'm going to end the video here. In the next video, we're going to be getting into looping, which is some more advanced stuff, some cooler stuff. And we're continually moving through and we're going to be getting more advanced now, uh, getting out to kind of the more basic stuff of Java. With that being said, if you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure you leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.